Hi everyone, so here we go, penultimate one. We're almost done in this little collection of Christmas glitters, Christmas designs even. Um, and again, I'm using the Crystal Nails Royal Gel in white. And I'm going to create a like, Christmas jumpery design for this one. So I've finished the nail and have put a matte um, top coat on. So this is a matte design. And then I'm just freehand drawing a diamond. So what I always do whenever I do Christmas jumper nails is just get my phone and I Google Christmas jumper designs or cable knit designs, things like that, just to get an idea for um, just a bit of inspiration really. So for this one I'm doing like a star design using diamonds. So just taking my time just to create each individual diamond. Now if you're not confident to do the entire design in one go, you can do this in pieces. So you can always do the design, do part of the design. Um, sprinkle in acrylic, cure, brush off, add a little bit more to the design. You don't have to do it all in one go, that's the good thing with gel. But obviously once you've cured something in place, if you change your mind, or if you can't quite fit the whole design in, you'll then struggle a bit. So if you've got an idea of the design you want... Oh, sorry, massive yawn. <laughs> this is like the 15th video I've voiced over this evening and I'm getting a bit tired. Um, yeah, so um, if you've got an idea of the design, you can always do it in sections. Remember, it's freehand, it's not stamping, it doesn't need to be perfect. Just try and make it as even as possible. And with royal gel, I'm painting nice and thinly. I don't want to make that too thick. Make it nice. Now similar with the sounds design, I'm going to use my cuticle pusher, but this time I'm going to pick up clear acrylic and just sprinkle it into that gel. Then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. And then brush it off. So that's cured it and given it a, kind of a flocked effect. I love doing black designs in this way because it gives a lovely um, flocked quite a vintagey feel. Now I'm just adding the rest of my design. I just wanted to get that diamond set in place. Then I can carry on. So with cable on it jumpers you get lots of like dots and dashes and things like that. So I'm just adding a few lines of dots and then I'm going to do some short diagonal lines going in different directions just to finish off this design. And when I'm happy with that design, I'm going to again sprinkle in that clear acrylic, making sure you get a really good covering. So I go over two or three times in the same area to make sure it's all fully covered. And then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. While that's curing, just going to clear away all my other bits and then brush it off. And there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial guys, any questions, comments, requests, just pop them below. Thanks for tuning in, bye!